Anyway, look, I've just wasted over a minute talking about anything but the subject of this video, so I'm a golf YouTuber. Anyways, <clears throat> Ian Poulter posted on his uh, Instagram. All right, it's Ian Poulter here. How you doing? All right. Oh, I'm the best. I'm the greatest, you know. And uh, he was basically saying that Bryson, uh, well, from, from what I read of it, he was like accusing him of being a cheat. Like he said, he said he was, what was the, what was the exact words he said? You, you have to watch it, but he said something like, he's taking advantages of the, of the rules, technology rules, right? <clears throat> which is like a polite way or a non-litigious way of um, calling him a cheat. And what he's saying is that he's using less loft on his driver, like four or five degrees, which is like a stupid amount. Like that's long, long drive sort of lofts. And he's putting it forward in his stance. So therefore, I, I, I think this is correct. He's hitting it down on, on the balls and creating less spin. As you know, we're, we're encouraged to hit up on the ball. But if you reach a certain amount of club head speed, which these guys are doing 130 mile per hour, you are probably better off to hit down the ball. That's what he's saying anyway. And uh, so he's suggesting that they bring in like new rules to say that you should limit the loft of the driver to say, for example, 8.5 degrees. And uh, well, I think to myself, well, if he's doing it, why don't you do it in? And why don't you go to the gym and bulk up? Uh, and Matthew Fitzpatrick's come out of the same thing. He said that um, he's making a mockery of the golf courses, which he probably is. But it's only because he's using his noodle. He's, you know, he's putting in the effort to do hard work in the gym. And I mean, Roy McIlroy a few weeks ago, he said, and it was a bit cryptic, like everyone's going, what's he on about? He said that he was taking advantage of the situation. And that's all he said. And people go, what's he on about? And then there's like people saying, well, perhaps he's talking about they're not doing drug testing at the minute because of the situation we're in. Therefore, he's, he can take some of the old roids, steroids. So there's a bit of that going about. Um, so they're all getting the ump, aren't they? All these tour players are getting the ump because what they frightened, they frightened that, that they're going to be left behind. I mean, Mac Matthew Fitzpatrick, he's, he's, he's not a slouch. He, he hits it over 300 yards. But then again, Bryson does it at 45 yards past him. Um, and, and I've met Matthew. I said, I met him. I didn't like, go for a beer with him, but I bumped into him at Wentworth. And he's a skinny little scrawny kid, so there's no way he could, he's got the physicality to bulk up like Bryson. So maybe he's worried about that. Maybe he can't do nothing about it, but that's just life, isn't it? It's just, I'm not on tour because I'm a crap golfer. I can't turn around and say, well, you know... Why can't they make provisions for my shit swing? I don't know. It, am I missing something? Is there a point to this that I miss? I can't see what all the... You know, I don't need to give you stats. And you know, like I say, Mark Cross did this video and started going to stats and drawing the video out. Like, it ain't nothing to do with stats and stuff. He, Bryson is hitting it 50 yards past and most of the golf tour players out there, and they don't like it, right? So... But am I missing something? Comment down below. Thank you very much for watching this video. Watch my next video because I think my next video will like lose me half of my subscribers. Right? So watch out for that one. If I dare put it out. I think I might put it out. Anyway, have a nice evening and uh, I'll see you soon. Laters.